We hope that Joy and other victims of abuse get some semblance of justice. Now let's talk sports. If you are a fan of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, the UFC, the name Kamaru Usman would ring a bell. The 33-year-old Nigerian-American mixed martial artist is the current UFC welterweight champion and has carved a niche for himself in the sport. But beyond the punches and the belt, how much do you know about his journey to fame in this package? We bring you up close and personal with the man popularly called the Nigerian Nightmare. grew up in the village. We farmed. You know, we had farm. As a small boy, farm boy, you know, I used to hawk akbu for, uh, you know, hot akbu in my head down the street to sell, you know. Like, I came from that. There's the struggle every day. The struggle to, you know, what are we, how are we going to eat next week, next month? What are we going to do? We owned a, like a, a small store to where we sold clothes. You know, we sold shoes, my mom sold that bag, anything that we could sell, my mom was, was able to, to get and try to sell. My mom was a hustler. That's one of the most, the things that I respect so much about her. As a woman with, you know, three boys, three rowdy boys, <laughs> Nanja boys, you know, if you mess with one of us, you have to fight all three of us. It's an amazing place to be because you have to just, you develop such a independence about you that, you know, has carried me to where I am today. While they were doing their investigation, they came back and said, all right, investigation's over. Almost two years later, I'm in college. He's at home, wakes up in the morning, and they knock on the door and they're like, hey, we're here uh, for Mr. Usman. And he's like, what, what is this about? They're like, it's about the ambulance company, this and that. He's like, oh, this was done. We've already settled all that. Then they, they said, oh, that was civil. Now this is criminal. And that, that was very, 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 very tough on everybody. But um, for, it was for me, I, I just had to do the best that I could with it. My daughter, Samira, I love her to death. She's very intriguing to me, you know, because um, from about six months to about three and a half years of her life, she went to the gym with me every day. I think she hit about five years old, then she started saying, you know I'm not gonna do this, daddy, right? You know I'm not gonna do the sport. And so, I have to, I think I have to just accept that. And I don't, honestly, I don't think I want her to do the sport anyways. You know, um, she's got her thing. She's doing gymnastics and she's, you know, just for self-defense, she does jujitsu because she has to learn how to control the situation if anything happens. So, you know, I'm okay with those right now. Talking about the sport that I've spent so much time in, you know, that's, that's a dream. So now instead of getting punched in the face, you're talking about the people who are getting punched in the face. And so it's, it's a dream for me, but it's, um, I'm slowly getting my feet wet in it and I'm uh, finding my ground because it's something that I definitely want to do when I walk away from this sport. You have to, you know, there's nothing like it. You know, rice, jollof rice, uh, designer stew, or that, those are just some of my favorites, you know, so. I have to at least taste it now because, you know, I've, I've grown so far away from it because now that I'm in a sport that requires me to have a diet all the time, but I try to keep that closeness with my food because it's just, it's ingrained in me. The sport knows no barrier. We can just speak the sport. And so I think this in Africa would be humongous. I mean, imagine the, just the space when we overrun this sport. Nigerians and their jollof rice. Interesting. There's more to come here on Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. We expose how Nigerian retirees are forced to pay to get their hard-earned allowances. We bring you that story and more after the break. Stay with us.